This video is going to show you how to use high drag bombs in BMS. What you'll see here is that I am carrying two different types of bombs. I'm carrying the Mark 82 Air Bomb and the Mark 82 Snake Eye. Uh, both of these are high drag munitions, which means that uh, one will deploy bags or balutes behind it and one will deploy fins. Um, and basically what these are used for is uh, doing low altitude attacks. The idea is that you get lined up on your target at low altitude, uh, you drop your bombs, and the uh, high drag assemblies will slow the bomb down so that you can actually speed away and get out of the blast radius. So that's, that's really all there is to do uh, with these particular bombs. Um, they will impact on the ground. Uh, they're... They are impact bombs, so they won't necessarily blow up in the air. Um, but <coughs> you do have to hit the target, and uh, your, fi uh, your flight computer needs to uh, basically calculate uh, with the high drag uh, with the high drag bags on them or fins um, when you can pickle to actually hit your target. Um, I believe that CCIP will already keep that in mind. Uh, so if you just put the pipper on the target, you should be able to uh, hit the target, and the high drag assemblies will already be taken into account. So let's give this a try. The first thing you want to do is switch to air to ground, and we'll just review our bombs here. You see on the right that uh, the first selection is the Mark 82 Snake Eyes. If I press the OSB, I can see that I also have the Mark 82 Airs uh, with balutes, and they're called B-49s. Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you set up your arming delays for your weapons. So you just hit Control, and you can change the arming delays. Now, the first arming delay is for the nose fuse, and the second arming delay is for the tail fuse. So I'll leave the uh, nose fuse the same, but just to sh give you an example of what this actually means, I can select one second, I just entered 100, press enter, and you'll see that the nose tail fuse uh, is selected, um, and it shows an arming delay of one second. If I change it back to nose, it goes to half a second, and tail is one second and nose tail is one second. Uh, it's important to note that the fusing will do nothing to the high drag bombs outside of change the arming delay if you have them set differently. Uh, they won't delay the uh, time that the actual high drag assemblies deploy. Those will deploy automatically about half a second off the rails. So you have no real control over that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a shot at a bridge. So I'm going to switch it for pairs, and I'll set a 100-foot spacing between these pairs, and I'll drop uh, three pairs, which is all six bombs, and that should be enough to take out any sort of bridge. And you'll notice that if I cycle between the different weapons, so the balutes or the snake eyes, it retains the actual uh, arming delay and the actual configuration, so that's handy. Um, so let's see what damage we can do. So I've got a bridge directly ahead. All right, I'm switching to CCRP. There's my pipper. Away. So you can see Bombs that the snake away. eyes, uh, the fins deployed right away. And I hit the target. Pull up, pull up. So yeah, I think we've got a bridge directly ahead of us. So we'll go for that guy. And there's the balutes. And that's the high drag bombs.